Hey, it's Darnell with the Grill, and I've got myself some uh, beef back ribs here. It's about five and a quarter pound of beef back rib, and so I'm going to be smoking these up on my Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boone pellet smoker. Going to be using some Green Mountain Grills Premium Texas Blend pellets, and so I'm going to get this out the cryo bag, and then go ahead and get started prepping this. All right, so here are our beef back ribs. Two slabs come out the cryo bag. I'm going to remove any membrane that I find on the back of these. Also, I may trim any fat that I find to be an excess from the top just a little. So I'll bring it on back after I get these uh, trimmed up a little bit. All right, I got these beef back ribs trimmed and got the membrane off the back. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to season them up. I'm going to be using some uh, Grillmates Montreal Steak Seasoning because I really like this. And, you know, since these are beef ribs, basically your steak and beef seasonings all work well. Just use your preference. So I'm just going to season these up now. All right, now that I got them seasoned up, I'm going to use the Harry Sue method. Of throwing some Worcestershire sauce on top after the seasoning. So just gonna get that on these ribs. Alright, got those ribs all dressed up. They look pretty decent. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the pellet smoker warmed up. All right, so I've got my uh, app all connected. Just going to start my grill up, turn it on, confirmed. And I'm going to set the initial temperature to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's where we're going to start out at. I'm going to smoke these for an hour. I'm going to show you this profile that I'm going to use that I call beef back ribs. Basically, I'm going to smoke them for an hour at 180. That helps get a nice... Uh, smoke infusion in them just letting them go really low for an hour just to get a good smoking and then after that kick the temperature up to 245 degrees gonna let that temperature ride at 245 until the ribs are 165 degrees internal meat temp once they reach 165 degrees internal meat temp I'm gonna wrap them in butcher paper and I'm gonna put into each rack a half a cup of beef broth and a half a tablespoon of beef rub so that'll go into each one that's wrapped and I'll let them ride like that at 245 wrap in that Texas cheat or Texas crutch until they reach 195 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let me give you the weather report. Currently the temperature is 51 degrees Fahrenheit. It's partly sunny. The humidity is 51 percent. Wind speed is just five miles an hour. As we go through this cook today's high will be 64 degrees Fahrenheit and it's just going to be cloudy with some sun, breaks of sun here and there but uh, right now it looks pretty good you know it's partly sunny this is a good looking partly sunny so I'll take it and so I'll bring you on back when I bring you back I'll be putting these onto the grill alright the smoker has reached the target 180 degree temp so I'm going to go ahead and put these beef ribs on there set this slab over here. I'm going to set the slab with the meat probe over here. I know the smoker has a little hole for that uh, meat probe, but uh, I just won't be using that. so those are on close it on up so now I'm going into my profile for beef back ribs I'm gonna go ahead and hit start profile and confirm so now that profile is in and things are gonna run at the 180 you see it's at 181 right now and then it goes down to 180 it keeps things regulated 
and it does a very good job at that. So it's going to smoke for an hour, and then after an hour of smoking, it's going to go ahead and kick things up to 245. And once the temp reaches 165, I'll uh, come on out and just get them wrapped up and get the mixture of beef broth and rub put into them and we'll let them continue to cook. All right, so a little over 30 minutes have passed. The temperature has gone over 165 on the beef ribs. I'm gonna open up and then I'm going to go ahead and get them wrapped up in butcher paper and in that uh, fluid mixture that I mentioned earlier. Half a cup of beef broth, half a tablespoon of uh, the beef rub for each of them. And when I say a little over a half hour passed, I mean a little over a half hour after the first hour of smoking. So it's been about an hour, 40 minutes, a little over an hour, 30 minutes of uh, time set here before they went up to the proper tip. I'm going to go ahead and get these wrapped up. All right, everything's good and wrapped up. So I'm gonna go ahead and close things up. Let it continue to cook until that meat reaches about 195, and then we'll come pull things off. All right, so these uh, beef back ribs took about two and a half hours to finish. They reached their 195 temp. And just wanted to point out, beef back ribs are different from beef short ribs, of course, because beef back ribs have the meat in between the bones where beef short ribs have the meat on top of the bone. So I'm going to basically just take these out. I'm going to let them set inside for about 30 minutes to reabsorb some juices and then I'll show them to you and we'll do some cut and plate and taste testing. All right, so I let them just set and stay wrapped for the 30 minutes while they rest it. I'm going to go ahead and get them out on the cutting board now. All right, so take a good look at those. They look real good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a bone here. All right, let me give you a good look at that. Do you see the pink smoke ring? And that's just two and a half hours smoking and we got a nice smoke ring. So it's time to do this taste test. All right, it's taste testing time for these beef back ribs. Very juicy, very good. Got some smoke infusion in there. Winter, just two and a half hours and they're knocked out and real tender and good. So this is a real good one. You should give it a shot and you can find this and other recipes in written form at dgrillsmoke.com. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at dgrillsmoke. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel and good eating.